wildcard skipper Bruce Davey tows this string of dories more than 2,500 kilometres from Cairns to this part of the top end as his crew chase mackerel schools all the way across the Gulf of Carpentaria. We were up here at the Wessel Islands and uh, I've got Cole from the Boathouse restaurant in Sydney now. He's a great chef, brilliant at seafood, and we're up here and we're with the boss himself, or maybe not the boss himself. The boss is out there in one of the dinghies. She's fishing, but uh, we've got Bruce here from Wildcard, and five of the dories are working these grounds at the back here for mackerel, Spanish mackerel in particular. And at the moment, they've landed about 40. And we've got two guys out there, three girls. Women are far better working. If you get the right women and you train them well, they've got this competitive bloody instinct to try and be the best. The fishing industry's contracted from over 125,000 licenses 25 years ago. Now they're currently, you know, just a bit over 9,000. So the, the industry around Australia has gone through a lot of pain to restructure to ensure that all our fisheries are sustainable. So we know we can come out with a renewable resource it's the same amount every year and everyone's happy. In fact, I've worked for you to catch that back from I mean, yeah. a pretty honourable job to have. And with the dories now coming in to offload their catches, the really serious work of that job is about to start. The crew are bringing the mackerel in now. They've been out there for a couple of hours. It's only a short little stint this morning. How'd you go, Tom? Too bad? Ten. Ten, good stuff. The adrenaline from hauling in multiple big fish single-handed must still be surging through Tom and his crewmates veins and they'll need it for the work yet to come. Anywhere between two and ten mackerel are coming on board. I'll throw them into these trays at the back and then they'll get into the cleaning process. So up here on this big white deck, it'll all be happening. Action stations pretty soon. This part of the job is something that Chef Cole knows a lot about. Beautiful look of fish. That's it, they're so fresh. Are they an oily fish or how do you they're cook them? Oil, oil content, yeah. So yeah. You don't even have to cook them. When they're this good, you know, they eat incredibly well raw. They oh, really? Well, they smoke. They're, because of that oil content, they're really universal. It's all hands on deck for filleting the catch which has to be done at super fast speed, yet with what almost seems to be superhuman care and precision. The name of the game is to cut two clean fillets, free of any contamination from the contents of the gut cavity, and to have it all done in a flash. Because delivering the freshest possible product requires neatly trimmed fillets to be washed and packed for the cold room within the minimum possible time from capture. So when you got a lot of fish, I guess this is the hard yakka. How important is it to make sure you get a nice clean fillet? Coming through the gut cavity, you're just another job. Yeah. See, I've just nicked a bit of the belly there. Taking off like that. Yeah, right, okay. If so you think about the pace they're doing it at, I think you're going to end up with about a quarter ton of fillet this morning. Yeah, that's you incredible, know? isn't it? But that's a 60% return yeah. on the pool. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah, really getting good, good value for money. Yeah, and so are the sharks. So are the sharks, yeah, look at this, eh? Wow. I guess one of the dangers being in there working is that you're, you're pulling these fish over the side, or a big shark wants to have a crack, you could actually almost take your hand off. Yeah, I've got some big scouts and that's all from sharks. Wow. Yeah, your main tug of war quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do this soon. Righto. They're pretty sick, aren't they? <laughs> you reckon you'll be up for it, mate? Yeah. You and me will be doing this at some point. Yeah. It's on. I'll do a nice slow one first so I can see exactly what they do. I, yeah, I can see the oils 100%. <laughs> now that I've set the benchmark for a TV presenter's speed and precision, let's see what a professional chef can do. There you go, nice. Well done, he's, he does it every day of the week. He's, he's got a beautiful restaurant. He can get this incredible product and, and 
prepare it well. And it's a beautiful looking product that's packed in the boxes to be held in Wildcard's freezer room for pickup by the delivery ship that makes regular trips between Cairns and wherever they're fishing throughout the season. There you have it, the processing done. We've cleaned 